June 12th, Monday, 8.40 Mountain Time, 2017. A couple things. First, the balloons. They're still in the sky. We did a video on this about a week ago. Um, they've drifted down into the South America region. There's still some up in the Caribbean and down here off the coast of Peru. But check this out. Remember how I mentioned that they're up near, well, they're at the bottom of the ozone layer. And look here, this so happens today, this is a total electron count from today at 1900 hours. And look, there's an anomaly right there, exactly where those balloons are. Look at that, to a T, right off the coast of Guyana and Venezuela breach or some sort of an anomaly and then if you go down through brazil off the coast of peru look at this map here you'll see that that's exactly where there's a anomaly there as well so they could be up there doing internet survey i don't know but they are up by the ozone and they could be monitoring something to do with that because i do think there is a wandering or multiple wandering breaches in the ozone layer that's why we're getting um like for instance a 13 plus uv over here in, in pennsylvania you know that's that's unheard of but we've gotten it i think more than once but anyway back to sophia tonight it's totally obvious that it's not following the sunset the other night it was i'm pretty sure of it and i think the reason being at least that night was because of this uh, meteor shower and it's been a doozy and it's still going on I know people that have seen daytime meteors I read where a man over in the UK saw three at the same time so some of these are getting through a lot of them I understand are invisible like those right there might have been invisible but you know what they're still counting they're registering on these instruments these instruments are picking them up so like again last night 150 that's the second night in a row, over 150 at, at one hour. And for several hours, it was over 100 per hour. And it's headed that way again tonight. Same thing. So this thing is not letting up. We saw some interesting things, like if I turn this on. Look at that. There's another one. That is a meteor. No doubt about it. That's a classic meteor. But back to Sophia. And what could Sophia be doing tonight? Well, I learned something yesterday from... An individual that knows what they're talking about. That's about all I'm going to say on that. But um, pointed something out to me that was like, once I looked at it, it was totally obvious. Sophia right now is more than likely monitoring Yellowstone. It does have the equipment to monitor Yellowstone. I've also learned that. Check this out. Remember the massive lake of molten carbon the size of Mexico that was discovered under the U.S.? The story came out this year. Remember that? Look at Sophia's uh, flight pattern from two days ago. This was on the 10th in the morning. Perfect match. Sophia was monitoring Yellowstone. Not the sun that morning. Now on the ninth, when it was over flying in the uh, well in the direction of the sunset, I'm convinced it was. But this here, absolutely, this is Yellowstone. The caldera is right here in the middle, and it also looks like it was monitoring this big carbon structure underground. It has the equipment to do it. I've learned that, and that is a no-brainer. That's a perfect match. So no, no doubt about that. So we'll see tonight. That's why I've got Sophia up. We're going to see tonight if it runs some sort of a similar pattern. And then we'll know um, that once again, it's monitoring this uh, lake of molten carbon. So that is pretty cool. And that's the direction it's heading. So it'll probably go over here to South Dakota, pivot. I would say go across like it did the other night, down, back up. And over, that's probably what it will do. Something very similar to what it did the other morning. It did that at uh, like 4 a.m. Came back in around 6 a.m. So it took about a two, little over two-hour flight. So we'll see. But right now, 
are pretty certain Sophia is monitoring Yellowstone. Don't know exactly why. I know there is a little increase in quake activity at the Yellowstone seism seismos, but it's also monitoring that lake too. So interesting stuff, interesting times. I'll keep you posted and definitely watching these meteors and that event that happened today. I don't know what that thing was. That thing that came in, that weird wave of energy, I didn't even know how to describe it, except a wave. Look at it right there. It looks like louvers on your, your front window. But it was like a wave that even eliminated the static. It got uh, eerily quiet, like it neutralized the, the frequency. Very weird. That lasted for like 22 minutes. And I, I have no idea what that was. This is what it normally looks like right here. And if I turn it on, where's the... That's what it normally sounds like. You know that. It got real quiet. I don't know. I don't know if it's related to the, the debris field. I have no idea what that was. It was very interesting. Just like Sophia. When Sophia goes up, it's a big deal. So she's monitoring something big. Believe it. And we'll find out here in a couple hours what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Be safe out there. Talk to you soon.